So, with the success of the Mark 1 Airsoft GI decided, you know what, let's do it again and create the MGC4 Mark 2. What's up Airsoft fam, Dartree here and welcome to another episode of Replica Rundown. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at the MGC4 Mark II. And before we go any further, please go ahead and like and subscribe. Your support contributes greatly to channel growth and I really do appreciate it. All right, quick little disclaimer guys, I bought this MGC4 Mark II with my own money. Uh, this was not given to me. I do not receive any kind of kickbacks for doing this uh, replica rundown. Disclaimer number two, this is an airsoft replica, so ATF, please don't come breaking down my door. This is perfectly safe. Disclaimer number three, I will be truly transparent and I will be giving you my honest opinions on the Mark II. Um, I am a mod on the Airsoft GI YouTube channel, but I will not let that sway me from giving my honest and open opinions about the MGC4 Mark II. All right, before we get into this overview, let's talk about what we get inside the box. All right, so inside your Mark II box, you're gonna be getting this nice 120 round waffle style Lancer mag. We got our Zion Arms patch right here. We do get a downgrade spring. And we also get this fancy black flash hider. All right, let's go over some features of the Mark II. Okay, up top we have our typical orange flash hider um, that is held in by a metal grub screw. Um, so do what you will to try to get that off, but um, I'm still working on it. Um, it does come, like I showed you guys earlier, it does come with this uh, black flash hider right here, which is uh, pretty cool. I like the design. Um, it's a bulky style, stubby style uh, flash hider, but I do dig it. So um, yeah, I might throw this on, but uh, we'll see. All right, your Mark II does come with these cool flip up sights. You get one in the front and of course one in the back. They're very nice, very snappy. Um, they do line up out of the box perfectly. So. Good job with that. We do have this nice 14 inch M-Lock rail um, and we do have some branding here. We have a Mayo Gang logo right here and some more branding on the other side. We have our Mayo man himself, Cisco, right here on the Mayo jar. And we do have some uh, more Lancer tactical branding on the other side right here on the receiver. Like I said, this is a nice M-Lock rail and it leads down to this uh, full metal receiver. And um, we do have our safe, semi, and full auto selectors right here. I am really digging this Final Fantasy VII style cloud blade trigger. Uh, this is probably my favorite part of this replica right here. Pretty cool trigger, really do like it. Good job, Lancer. I like that little touch right there. Let's go to the back right here. Um, we have this Delta stock, and it has, I think, about four to six positions on the back. I usually run my stocks all the way fully collapsed because that's just how I run them. It's very comfortable for me and it fits my overall uh, gaming style, if you wanna call it that. When you add the waffle mag, it does complete the package and overall out of the box, I will give this gun aesthetically, I'd say, I'd say 8.5 out of 10. This gun looks super nice out of the box. I do like um, the overall setup, the length, I can already see how they have improved on the Mark 1 and it's not really an improvement it's more of um, more of an adjustable more more of a change in style I guess um, it's made more for distance so um, 
that's where we're going to run this gun uh, this season in airsoft. We're going to run it for distance and see how well it performs. I'll go ahead and throw up some internal specs on the screen right now to let you guys know inside this engine what you're running with. I know um, it does have a 25k motor which is improvement from the 18k motor that came on the Mark 1. So um, good job there. One more thing, it does come with a similar style um, sling attachment as the Mark 1. Um, I don't mind it, I do like it here. It also comes with a QD point on the delta rail. So we have a few uh, attachment points for your sling. So another good job there. All right, let's just discuss the elephant in the room. Uh, this gun um, was released in a few different colors. I was able to get my hands on one of the few aluminum raw colors. Uh, I think they only made 20 of these and um, I do have plans on fully customizing and doing a nice paint job to this thing. Um, I won't let you guys know exactly what I'm gonna do, but I plan on taking this thing apart again after I've done the test and fully customizing this rail and this receiver and um, doing something special, something I've never done before. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, let's get this mag loaded up some BBs and let's do a shooting test to see how well this MGC4 Mark II performs. All right, so right here we have our 1100 milliamp battery. It's a 7.4 volt. Um, I really need to get an 11.1 for testing purposes, but we'll make do. And we're just gonna take off our Delta stock and go ahead and get our battery plugged in. If you guys listen carefully, you'll hear that Nebula MOSFET. Click on, as soon as I turn this, you'll hear it. Now it's time for magic shove this back in there I think these are the EMG Barrett 2.0 uh, BBs for testing today we're gonna use those got our 120 round waffle mag from Lancer I did have a backup mag right here we have a 170 round PTS EPM1 shorty mag get our mag loaded up all right, so we're ready to go. We got the uh, mag loaded up with 0.2 gram BBs. We have our target down range about uh, 10, 10 yards or so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in semi and uh, we're gonna just put some shots down range. Uh, we're gonna be testing for um, just trigger response right now and uh, just overall uh, um, just getting a feel for the gun. You know, Go ahead and flip up those sights. Put her in semi and let's go. Already I can tell that this trigger is a lot better than the MC4 Mark I. A lot more responsive. It must be from that 25K motor. A lot more spammable. Yeah, if you guys can already tell, like that thing is really, really responsive. Ooh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw it in auto and uh, see what happens. We still have babies left in there. Oh, actually, we're out. Uh, first mag, beautiful. Uh, I love the responsiveness of this um, engine. The motor has been upgraded, so I can actually tell that the trigger response is a lot better than it was in the Mark I. Uh, we got one more mag. Just uh, get a couple more shots off on semi. All right, let's just go ahead. Let's get in here a little bit closer and see this uh, trigger pull right here. So right here is where we start at. The wall is not as prominent as it was in the Mark I. There was usually a, like a more prominent wall. This one's a little bit more squishy, but it is still... Yeah, a lot more snappy. Snappy is the perfect word for this thing. A lot more snappy than the Mark I. Uh, overall on the Mark II, I gotta say, it's, uh, I didn't expect it to be that much better, but it is. And, um, I, 
I have nothing but good things to say about this thing. It feels really good in the hands. Um, and overall, just off of the shooting test. Yeah, I highly recommend this, uh, this AEG. Before we finish off this review, let's go ahead and get a Chrono going. I just want to see what this thing is doing out of the box in terms of uh, FPS and rate of fire. Oops, that exploded right on. Alright, so we got 392, 390, 390, 396, 395, 390, 388, 388, 388. Alright, so that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and put it up in the uh, switch to full auto so we can get a rate of fire. Alright, so I'm going to say that the rate of fire is around 15.2, 15.3. Um, my chrono was acting a little bit funny on that, but I'm going to go ahead and say that um, we're at a good rate of fire of 15.2. Uh, we are running a 7.4 battery, so uh, that's going to slow down the rate of fire just a bit. So I think this gun should be around 18.5 if you're using the uh, proper battery. But uh, yeah, it's hot as balls down here. Let's head upstairs and finish off this review. Alright guys, out of the box, our MGC4 Mark II is coming in at 5 pounds and 4 ounces. A very similar weight to the MGC4 Mark I. Alright, to wrap up this video, overall, the Mark II, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, they improved a lot on where they had a little bit of issues with the Mark I. I do like the extended length of the rail. It gives me a little bit more options when it comes down to playing and um, it does fill that gap where distance is needed in airsoft. So I do like that touch they added to this one. And the trigger has overall improved the 25K motor, makes this gun a lot more snappier than the Mark I. The Mark II actually did something that the Mark I did great and it kept its lightweight footprint even though this is a full metal gun it is still very lightweight very uh easy to maneuver with and um that's something that i really did like about the mark one so good job on carrying that on to the mark two guys i do like the maneuverability i do like the snappiness of the trigger this blade trigger is just second to none i love it so much i'm not going to change this trigger when i go ahead and upgrade this gun i think i'm gonna keep this thing exactly how it is and yeah i uh, really don't have any complaints so far um i'm gonna run this gun in the upcoming airsoft season and uh see how well she performs and i'll let you guys know uh along the way what upgrades i've made and um yeah overall this gun i'd probably give it a, a solid nine out of ten all right guys that's going to be it for this replica rundown please go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel your likes and subscriptions contribute directly to channel growth and i greatly appreciate it please leave a comment below and let me know what variation of the mark ii you guys picked up don't forget to aim down sights and i'll see you guys next time